Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey, everybody. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Welcome to Divine Astrology, June 2023. And this is our uh, forecast for the month ahead. Um, It allows you to sort of focus on a key idea that will help you in your soul growth. These messages are channeled. I have a process where I, for so long, I've been doing this almost over 20 years now, but I channel in writing. And so I'm going to read to you what I channeled for this month of June 2023. So this month is all about all is awakening. As we know, we are not the only ones awakening. We are awakening together as collective soul. What affects one affects one, capital O. What affects one affects all, capital A. We can be sure that our awakening sparks the awakening of others. We can also know that we are awake by virtue of those who have awakened awakened before us. Each soul sparks the next with all souls rising to level of highest vibration. I just want to read that little part again because it's important. It's part of a bigger idea. Each soul sparks the next, yes, with all souls rising to the level of highest vibration. This idea has also been presented. Souls rise to the highest level. The highest level in the room, the highest level in the country, so forth. It does not really matter where we start. There is no hierarchy of souls. This means no, no soul is better than another. Consciousness always rises to the highest level, which is the highest level in the room, in the town, in the city, on the planet, in the universe. It also does not really matter where we are in the development of our mind, ego, personality, or what our station or situation is in the world. The world and how we fit into the world has nothing to do with our ability to awaken or our desire to live in conscious awareness. Some present the idea of transmission or activation, perhaps there is something to this, but awakening is really about remembering what we have forgotten. When we are sparked into our remembering of consciousness, it is absolute. We remember, boom. Once we have remembered, we cannot forget again. The spark is lit. It's been waiting to be lit this entire lifetime. This is the moment of awakening, not transmission or activation from another person or practice, although proximity to another may jolt our remembrance. So the awakening doesn't come from another, but being around others who are awake may may give you that spark of remembering the awakening comes of a situation or experience that brings our remembrance forward like a long hidden memory only this time the memory is not of an event that happened to us in the past it is about our core truth our knowing of our soul of our self as soul our knowing of our soul self our remembrance of our soul self We remember, boom, and we learn how to live. Recall, humans are not the only ones awakening. Humans are not the only containers of consciousness. It is important to cognize this. All of the species on the planet are in the process of awakening. They are conscious now and moving to a new level of consciousness. All of the living beings on the planet are souls, part of one, capital O, soul, just like you and me. All of the non-living beings on the planet 
are also souls. I guess it is planets also, even if they are not living creatures. This can be hard to recognize. We have been taught that only humans matter. But even beings that we may not recognize as beings are also conscious. The human, the animal, the insect, the tree, the plant, the crystal, the rock, the table, the cup, the air, the particulate. And these are just the beings of the mundane world. Everything is consciousness. There are no exceptions. All means all. So everything that is awakening is lifting everything else. We are moving to the highest level of awareness that we are proximate to in our region, in our planet, in the universe. It can be interesting to connect to beings that you may have connected to before a few years ago and to connect again now and notice the shift. Everything is more aware now. You have shifted into greater awareness. The being you are connecting to has also shifted. Remember also humans are not the most conscious beings on the planet. As you connect to other beings, especially those you may not have recognized as sentient before, be open to learning from and being lifted up. So I find this super interesting. So here we are in June 2023, which in Northern Hemisphere, at least, is probably a pretty good time to head outside and do some communing with nature, checking out plants and forests and trees and do some forest bathing and do all those kinds of things. And um, just pay attention, like don't have these ideas in your mind, like I'm a human, so I'm conscious and that plant, well, you know, it's living and it's probably sentient, but it's not at my level. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we don't know that. We don't, we don't know that, you know, trees have this, this beautiful conversation system going on under their, their roots and, and lots of trees are older than we are and have been or seen a lot, been around a lot. And, um, I just wouldn't be so sure that humans are the, the, the brightest bulbs here. That's one thing. And then this other idea of everything's awakening, like humans are not the only ones awakening. So you might have had a relationship to say animals five years ago a certain way and maybe animals didn't you know like maybe dogs you like dogs but you never really felt like you could communicate with them and then now five years later you're much more awake than you were and then you go and attempt to connect with dogs and you find like it's answered differently it's answered more as you are more awake you can spark that consciousness in other beings. Other beings are already awakening already. And so there's this, um, this very interesting exchange of consciousness that wasn't there before. You know, the best thing to do, if you don't know what to do, is go out and experiment. Go out, talk to the trees, talk to the, the weather, talk to animals. And I don't mean talk with your voice, I mean talk with your mind's your tele telepathic self and, and just see what happens. Just see if you can commune a bit and notice how humans are not the only game in town. Anyway, everybody, thank you for listening to Divine Astrology. Go ahead and subscribe to get it, you know, to your inbox. And you can also go to sarahwiseman.com where we've got our free mini course that people are really liking. And um, I will be with you uh, next month. Thank you.